Odds wow. to win the AFC Hubs. You didn't like that? Kansas City, <laughs> Kansas City at one. Reigning number one seed, Baltimore now at two. The Bills, of course, at three. Then the Bengals. And then the Dolphins. Don't forget about the Dolphins. Can, can I say I'll something real quick, Brew, that you might agree with? I don't know I pointed to you but because I'm not going to answer the question right now. Those odds are insulting. I, I, the Chiefs should be even money. The idea that the Chiefs and Ravens have similar odds, it should be the Chiefs even money and the next best team like 5-1. to one. But don't, Th- That I, it's that close is crazy to me. But I agree. Ahead. I mean, obviously they are still the favorite. But don't you think people are saying, and, and we haven't seen anything like Mahomes start. That nobody's so, won. But, yeah, they're saying they're not going to win three yeah. straight. It just has never happened. So, so who's your number one threat? Look, I am not abandoning – the Ravens. Uh, I'm just saying. I, I am not okay. abandoning the Ravens. I, I envision a day when I'll kick back up my Jordans on the table and talk about them eating somebody's lunch. I, I do envision I that. I imagine it'll be early November regular season day. Yeah. That's <laughs> usually <laughs> we get a free sandwich out of it. It's well, a look, I, I'm concerned. I mean, they had such a great season. And, I mean, everything was going their way. The MVP, the defense is historic. And then, you know, to fail where they did – it's like like a Super Bowl hangover. Seriously, kinda, yeah, yeah. Without, I mean, because it's like we got to go through this whole because they kind of lost their Super Bowl. Yeah, because I think they feel like they would have beaten the Niners because they yes. of course yeah. crushed them. Yeah. Right. So it kind of is like a, I'm not being and a smart whether ass that would have happened or not, right. but they certainly would have yes. went in with that mental advantage. Right. And look, they're but they're going to be good. They're, I think they're going to look at the film and learn that. We should have run the ball. We should have kept running Surprise. the ball. And we got to – right. It's, it's ridiculous what they did. But I am going to go, though, and you know this, Nick, and it, I think it was right why I picked Baltimore was because they are a tough matchup for Cincinnati, which I really see as the team that probably had the best chance to beat the Chiefs. And that's who I'm going to say now, Cincinnati. But Baltimore has played them incredibly tough in the past. Remember, I almost beat them with Tyler Huntley in the playoffs. So – but Cincinnati is my pick. Joe Burrow, I think he's coming back with a vengeance because this is a big year for him. If he either gets hurt or just doesn't have a great yep. year, it's kind of like when is this guy going to really fulfill his promise? Mm-hmm. And, and the team was 4-3 and three with Jake Browning at quarterback. So they got a good team. Yep. Now you'll have him, even if they lose T. Higgins and or Tyler Boyd, they still got Jamar Chase. So I'm going with Cincinnati. So my, my cheat answer is there is no threat. But if I have to give an actual team, let's just look to the history. In this five-year run, the one time they didn't win the AFC, the Bengals beat them. But I don't think it's the Bengals. I think it's a team that can follow that blueprint, which is uh, consistency at the coach and coordinator spot, superstar quarterback, has drafted really well, and can overspend in this free agency period because they have the quarterback so cheap, and that's the Houston Texans. Joe Burrow was in year two. They had drafted T. Higgins. They had drafted Jamar, or they were drafting Jamar that next year. They have Tank Dell coming back. Slowick didn't go anywhere. I think D'Amico's excellent. They have their left and right tackle in place. They got to spend money on defense like Cincinnati did, and then maybe they can take – a big leap. So my answer would be Houston because they can do win now stuff that doesn't hurt them long yep. term because CJ's so cheap over the next three years. It's the smart no, a good thing to do, and they already showed their legitimate playoff team. Well, what do you, What do you think about if the Chargers, depending on how the bracket breaks, trying to beat the Chargers for a third time? Oh, I was surprised where the Chargers. Can we show the full? Uh, rankings? Oh my God, the Patriots are ninety. Time for seven. Hey, we're on there. Though. Oh my God. Well, that's all sixteen. Well, how are you Doesn't even matter. Even Everyone's there. on there. They're last. We're there. I mean, that's ninety. <laughs> can I tell you something? You're last. I mean, wow. what, decent bet. See that? Decent bet. No, no, it's not. You just, you just told me how great it was that the Texans are going to be because they have a new coach yeah. and got a new quarterback. Hello, we're going to have a great defense. That's smart money. Spend a dollar on it. Still Spend a dollar on it. Win $900. The Steelers. Are you allowed to gamble yet? How old are The 90 – wild. Vegas surveyed the landscape and said Shoot. the Raiders and the Titans 
have a better chance to win the conference than you guys. Okay, rewind this earlier. Well, yeah. Can you bring out the board again, please? Yeah, no, why? Yeah, there, please bring it, out the board. Christina Keene, please bring out why? the board. Because you don't get to 10 play. minutes ago, yeah. you said, dum-dums in Vegas, yeah. we, are they're on the board. Yeah. They're on the board. So now they're dum-dums when they're on the board for the Chiefs, but when they're the Patriots, oh, the Y's in Vegas can't beat Vegas. <laughs> Consist- you're, I, I used to know it. someone named Mr. Consistency. <laughs> Where'd he go? Because I miss him. <laughs> you, I, I need Thank more you, water Christina. so I can't speak. <laughs>